Not much else to say, but... It's the EBT 5X 5200 milliamp capacity power bank from Canivo. This is a winner. Welcome everybody. Another product review here at Spike Studio. This time we're looking at the Canivio, Canivio, Canivivo. They didn't say what it was, but it's awesome so far. This is the model EBT 5X. It is a power bank. This is a 5200 milliamp. So we'll take a look at it. And you guys have known over time. We started with something small years ago. We started with this. Uh, we reviewed Fat Cat Power. The verbatim was a huge hit. Everyone loved this one. We reviewed this and put it up there. Uh, I'll put the link up for everyone who wants to know. Then we did the big daddy of them all, the Power Gen. The Power Gen was the winner, charging everything, including our iPads, as we went along the way. But then I got an email from this company here. Uh, like I said, it's, I think it's Canivio or Canivio, K-I-N-I-V-O. Apologize, guys. You didn't tell me how to say it. But they sent along this one, the 5200 milliamp one. So what's cool about it? Uh, I charged it up fully. Uh, it came pre-charged a little bit, but I want to make sure it was full before I did any tests. So the first thing you can see is it has the power light indicator on the side. So fully charged, we're ready to go. If I click it again, we have, and that's kind of bright, dual LEDs on the end. They stay lit. This stayed lit for almost 14 hours on a full charge. 14 hours. So if this is an emergency and you need a flashlight, this thing has it. You click it one more time. I'll keep it down to the camera. It does an SOS blink thing. Now, the blink thing I didn't run long term, but I can tell you it's going to run a long time if it ran 14 hours straight. So then what did I do with this one? Uh, well, I had I charged it up fully. It took over five hours to get it charged up. Once I got it charged up, I went ahead and ran down my BlackBerry, and I ran down my Android HTC Evo, which we've also done a review of. I was able to charge them both basically 100% on one full charge of this. It worked fantastically. So I was able to get that completed. So what did I do next? I recharged this fully, still took over five hours to get it done fully, and then hooked it to the iPad. Did it charge the iPad 100%? No, it did not. Uh, what it did do is get it about 60% or so. So it was off to a good start. So what did I find so far? Uh, long battery life and it's been sitting now for over a week. Still got its full charge. I didn't have it long enough to know how long it would keep a charge inside of it. Uh, it's supposed to work with cameras, MP3 players, PSP. It comes with the device itself, a little bit of weight to it. it comes with the USB cable that you need inside of it as well. Uh, specs on the size of it, you should know it weighs 133 grams and it's 106.5 by 47 by 25. I presume we're talking at that point millimeters. It's about the thing fit. Uh, 5 volt, 1 amp max uh, is the output and 19.2 uh, watt hours capacity. So 5200 milliamp. This is the model EBT 5X power bank and we are loving it so far. I'm going to keep this in my bag, see how it does otherwise. But guys, I'm telling you, if we went up the tree, this one was able to charge just about everything except an iPad for a while. The Fat Cat power was an awesome choice and it's still charged all the phones very well. Verbatim did excellent at maintaining itself and charging other charger. We love the verbatim, but then the power gen was the winner because they have this size plus the large one. This is the mobile juice pack ultra. Uh, they actually had one that's even bigger. That's available. I believe it was 84, but then this came along. It's only 52 as well, but it did its bet. Tell you what guys, uh, Canivo, Canivio, whichever one you are. Awesome choice. Awesome solution. Get your hands on it. The EBT 5X, everybody. Another Spike Studio product review.